What is going on everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is John. Today I have for you a big box good. Three athletic sneakers I picked up at Walmart for $19.98, $9.98, and $13.98 respectively, all in a size 11 for men. Now at the end of the video we're going to do a donation, a giveaway, but in the meantime let's talk about my first impressions and what I like about these shoes. Stick around till the end of the video. Like I said, let's donate these shoes to someone in need. It's the season of gift giving and of course, let's try these on and see just how comfortable they are. So here in front of us are three nice looking brand new pair of sneakers I picked up at Walmart. At the very far right side we have the Athletic Works with memory foam, a size 11, black with a white sole. 1998. We'll talk about each of these shoes separately. In the middle for 998, a pair of and one. You'll notice that for the most part they slip on, or at least the first two pair. So again, black top, white sole, all great looking shoes. You can pretty much dress up at work or maybe going to the gym or getting some exercise. Either of which are activities I see uh, someone in need using these shoes for and gaining some form of benefit out of. Now, if you'd like to see me review and donate something like a pair of dress shoes, let me know and we will. And last but not least, for $13.98 and probably the wild card of this bunch is the Athletic Works. Again, size 11, black top, black sole, also a pair of sneakers. Let's go ahead and talk about, let's see, this pair first. Now, what I love about this Athletic Works, it has memory foam and, but most importantly, look like a pair of Nike. So, extremely supportive, just like a pair of Nikes. Now, these remind me of the Roshi Run, which came out roughly five or six or seven years ago, and they've been on sale ever since. A great looking pair of shoes really started this whole uh, memory foam uh, sort of rubber sole mesh upper revolution. Now all running sneakers such as Adidas or Asics or Brooks have this sort of upper mesh and rubber sole bottom and also this sort of built in uh, tongue and upper half. So slips on I assume like a glove this mesh upper is extremely comfortable just feeling it it's soft and it's plush and of course like i said they look like a pair of nike so stylish as well now first thing you'll notice at the top of the shoe no laces and that's because this black rubber band actually holds the shoe on top of the foot so like i've noted in previous videos i typically tend towards an 11 and a half 12 and i also tend towards a wider shoe which you'll also notice by looking at the insole, you can see that it's a wide. So just keep that in mind. The other two shoes are narrow. So let's see how this compares and how comfortable it is. But first point I need to make, like I said, no laces. And even though no laces, you still get this uh, band at the top that holds it down onto the top of your foot. Now, like I said, this looks like a Nike shoe and what actually gives it its rounded off characteristic wholesome look, I think, is the fact the sole actually comes up to the toe of the foot. So most shoes like this that are third party or less expensive sometimes fade off probably 90% of the way and never come up to the toe. But here, as you can see, coming up to the toe. And what's also nice is the contrast between the black upper and the white sole. Now, last but not least, what I appreciate the most, and because a shoe like this might lack in terms of support, what's nice is, as you can see, first and foremost, the foot orthotic here is actually thicker than foot orthotic in other sneakers by actually more expensive brands. But as you can see, you can remove the foot orthotic and just to prove that it is removable and not just a gimmick, you can actually reinsert it. So, if this is a shoe that you want to put your own custom foot orthotic in, absolutely positively able to do so. 
And just in case you were wondering in store if this shoe is the right size, because sometimes people return things and sizes get mixed up, there is a tag on the inside of the shoe that actually shows you the size, both in US and in UK. And of course, at the bottom of the shoe is a simple rubber sole, but the tread, as you can tell, is pretty deep. It has plenty of grooves to channel water and also provide support. You'll also notice that the shoe is flexible. It's also extremely lightweight, and that is in large part thanks to this rubber sole and very simple mesh upper. So very simple pair of shoe, but not a whole lot of gimmicks or quirks or features here, which actually makes them streamlined and hopefully comfortable as well. But just to demonstrate here, the bottom of the shoe actually has great curvature, which should actually uh, support good foot positioning. But also, as you can see, uh, plenty of thickness here and traction. So just like the Athletic Works, a singular upper, no laces, but the difference I think is of course two pull tabs to help you slip in and out of the shoe. It's a casual sneaker, it's stylish. Getting in and out of this shoe, definitely an important function. So having the additional pull tab on the tongue of the shoe, as you might remember, on the back of the shoe, this is also on the Athletic Works, gives this M1 the advantage. Now, speaking of ease of use, let's talk about comfortability because I think both go hand in hand. So, one thing you might remember actually about the Athletic Works was the removable insole. Not the case with the N1, but better insole, I think. Memory foam here, memory foam on the Athletic Works as well, but this feels more like a Tempur-Pedic bed mattress or maybe more like a micro fiber or micro bean travel pillow. So nothing actually like I've ever felt before, to be quite honest with you, in a shoe. A lot of shoes tout having a memory foam insole and none feel as interesting or unique or as comforting as the memory foam in this and one shoe. And also speaking of comfortability and support and structure, you'll also notice compared to the Athletic Works, which was actually extremely lightweight and flexible, this shoe probably just slightly heavier and also, like I said, more rigid. So it's actually much less flexible, probably something you would maybe dress up and walk around in or do various activities and maybe a little bit of trail walking or maybe even uh, some other types of exercises like basketball you could probably even play. And last, but most importantly not least, the sole of the shoe compared to the Athletic Work sneaker. As you can see, much thinner, lower to the ground. The difference here, more rigid, so definitely more suited towards probably being on a court playing basketball or maybe tennis or racquetball at your local gym. You'll notice, of course, plenty of traction and support and grip. No issues there, but definitely a huge difference in the tread and also the flexibility of the shoe. Just to compare, just keep in mind, this is more of a court shoe, not meant for running or walking. The Athletic Works before definitely meant for running and walking. Now, last but definitely not least is the Athletic Works. The main difference between this Athletic Works and this Athletic Works is first and foremost, $7. So this is $13.98, this is $19.98. Let's take these two shoes off the table and take a look at this shoe. Now, you'll probably notice that this Athletic Works here is definitely more in tune with this Athletic Works. But just to parlay this segment into this segment, you can see the comparison between the M1 and this Athletic Works. Let's go ahead and take a look at the final shoe, the narrow Athletic Works sneaker. Now, just like the Athletic Works in the first segment, this also has a removable foot orthotic, but like the AND1, it's memory foam, and like a Tempur-Pedic mattress, as you can see, it actually has reinflating dimples. So when I actually press into the foot orthotic, you can actually see that it does 
recoil and takes roughly a half a second to a second to do so. Like I said, this memory foam is extremely comfortable. It's akin to actually a Tempur-Pedic mattress, which are extremely comfortable and very expensive. What I love here is of course, you get that same quality foot orthotic that you get in the N1, but the removability actually of this foot orthotic, which in the N1 could not be removed. Now, typically with Adidas or Nike trainers and running shoes, the theory actually behind the integrated uh, tongue and upper half of the shoe has to do with the way the shoe fits and how it stays on the foot. So running, walking, training, things like that, you'll actually notice with an integrated tongue, you spend less time overall stopping to tie your shoe. Now, the good news here is because it's a separate tongue, it should actually be more comfortable. Usually shoes with integrated tongue are less comfortable because the integration actually of the entire upper with the tongue makes it just sometimes less comfortable because it's meant to fit or conform, generally speaking, to multiple types of feet. But with a separate tongue like this, it should actually be comfortable, but also retain the casual and ease of use getting into and out of the shoe because there are no laces. Now, even though around the ankle of the shoe, it looks just a little bit unfinished, you can actually see the exposed stitching. It looks somewhat inside out. It does, I think, add to the appearance and characteristic, giving it this sort of rough and rugged look. And that, in turn, I think matches perfectly with these striations and cuts in the sole of the shoe. Okay, so now that we've done the first impressions, we've compared each sneaker to one another. Let's try them on and then donate them. So as you can see, the first pair is the 1998 by Athletic Works. As you can see, no laces, just a little bit simple, a little bit plain, uh, no graphics at the front of the shoe. The good news here is it looks like a Nike running shoe and a pretty good mock-up of one, I would say. Probably exactly the same, minus a couple of other branding and logo uh, themes and characteristics, but for the most part, it's an 11 wide. The wide aspect actually serves its purpose. Like I said, I do tend towards a wider shoe. I do have wide feet, so it feels comfortable at the sides of the shoe. Where it feels just a little bit cramped, of course, is at the toes. I think you can sort of make out that the toes are sticking out at the top of the sneaker. So. Typically, I can wear a size 11, 11 and a half, 12. I sort of move in between that range depending on which brand I shop for. Uh, but with Athletic Works at Walmart, uh, they do run just by having this on my foot a tad bit small. So 11, probably should have gone for 11 and a half, probably a 12. If we just walk around in them here. Uh, what I love is even though they are just a little bit small on the foot, the upper mesh, of course, allows them to flex and conform. So even though just a little bit small, still really comfortable. And this is a very lightweight shoe and very much like the Nike Roshi run of yesteryear, it's extremely comfortable. It's almost like walking on a cloud. It's almost like walking on a pillow and it does raise you off the ground probably a quarter of an inch. The back of the heel, as you can see, is pretty thick and it comes up real nice towards the toe. And of course, what I love is that the front foot stomp comes up to the front of the toe or the toe stomp and white contrasted with the black. They match perfectly well. So black on black, you can't tell that it's got this black band on top keeping the shoe on your foot Overall, pretty nicely executed. These are the more expensive pair. Had I gone for an extra size up, I think they would have been great because they are pretty comfortable. So I figured we would try these shoes on in the same order we reviewed them in and gave our first impressions in. What I love about the And One, definitely a sleeker, more slender profile, closer to the ground. I already feel like they are a lower shoe, not in a condescending way, what I mean is 
Definitely more suitable, like I said earlier, for maybe some racquetball or basketball. The shoes prior by Athletic Works for $19.98, those would be perfect for walking, running, going to the gym, things like that. Uh, what I love actually about this shoe compared to the Athletic Works for $19.98 is of course the pull tab on the tongue, which was only on the back of the shoe on the Athletic Works. Now, because getting into these, no laces, you slip them in, uh, having the tongue at the top of the shoe actually makes them easy to adjust. And if they ever feel uncomfortable, readjust them so. And of course, even though this is the narrow shoe, the Athletic Works was the wide shoe, this shoe actually feels extremely secure on the foot and very comfortable. I don't feel as if the sides of the shoe are pinching. So let's go ahead and go for a little walk here. Now, like I said, definitely more of a court shoe. And one is a basketball brand and not cloud-like or pillow-like the Athletic Works, but definitely supportive and overall with traction makes these actually a pleasure to walk around in. And I think you can tell that because of their low profile, they actually dress better and a little bit easier. And even though no laces, the other shoes with the band on the top of the foot made them look just a little bit simple, I think. But like I said earlier, those white stripes running across the top of the foot definitely set these apart. And I think sort of address the fact they don't have laces. And also, even though And One, not a totally popular brand, uh, the neon and black and white contrast is actually really pretty impressive. So really nice, comfortable pair of shoes. They actually feel form fitting and fit more true to size or at least better on my foot than the Athletic Works prior and were actually easier to get into and overall adjust. And last but not least are the Athletic Works for $13.98. So the and one I forget to mention, $9.98, cheaper than the $19.98 for the first Athletic Works. But this shoe actually, even though it's a size 11 and it's Athletic Works, fits more true to size. So the Athletic Works I said earlier probably could have gone up a half or a whole size. This shoe at a size 11, narrow, fits my foot perfectly. And I think that is in large part due to the fact the tongue is separate I think what also benefits this segment is, of course, it matches my socks just a little bit better. But let's go ahead and just walk around in it briefly. And let me give you my first impressions. Now, out of the other two shoes, this one I would say is the least comfortable. For some reason, I can actually feel the sidewall of the shoe. Uh, and even though, like I said, it's easy to slip on and off the foot and feels pretty confidence inspiring even though i typically tend towards an 11 and a half 12 for an athletic work sneaker this one like i said my toes are actually protruding through the front of the shoe and i can feel the sidewall of the shoe as where with the first athletic work sneaker they were tight but didn't feel the sides or the wall inside the shoe so just a little bit uncomfortable i actually feel like the footbed of the shoe cuts off roughly right here and then my toes are sort of hanging off uh, but when i sit down they're comfortable again so i think you can see the difference in texture here uh, this is still somewhat flexible and uh, will conform to your foot but not as uh, flexible as the upper mesh on the original Athletic Works. Overall, I think the and one were actually the most comfortable here. All right, guys, so now that we've done the first impressions, here we are at Goodwill. Let's make a donation. Now, I tried each pair on. It's a two-way tie, I would say, between the original Athletic Works for $19.98 and the and one for $9.98. Third place, and actually, 
Unfortunately, the 1398 Athletic works because they were actually the second most stylish pair, in my opinion. The and one actually were the most stylish pair and actually probably even the most comfortable. So a two-way tie, I would say, between the uh, and one and the 1998 Athletic Works. I think uh, for 998, the and one is a fantastic value. Even though the Athletic Works for 13, 1398 look fantastic, just not as comfortable. But the good news here is each of these shoes were comfortable. They fit well. Even though I could have benefited from probably being a size and a half or maybe just a half or a whole size up, I think that those shoes probably run just a little bit on the small side. Specifically, the Athletic Works, the and one fit better than the Athletic Works at size 11. I thought each pair were nice and because they are brand new shoes, someone who shops at Goodwill will benefit from having a brand new but marked down pair of sneakers. So let's go ahead and donate them and make someone's holiday season. Hi, I donate right here? Yeah, you can just toss it in the bag. Just a quick donation there, a quick drop off. You pull in, you drop things off, and then they give you a receipt. No ifs, ands, or buts. No video recording allowed. So I apologize for that segment being so brief, but hey, what does it matter? We donated three pair of shoes, three brand new pair of Athletic Work sneakers I picked up at Walmart for $13.98, $19.98, and $9.98, respectively. My name is John. Thanks again so much for tuning in. I will see you in the next video. Anyways, guys, that has been a first impressions and giveaway. Today, we donated three pair of shoes, two pair from Athletic Work, one for $19.98 and one pair for $13.98. We also donated a pair from And One for $9.98, each of which I picked up at Walmart, which makes them a big box good. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really hope you enjoyed that video and hopefully it gave you some inspiration and brightened up your day. Next week, let's donate to a different store these three George athletic t-shirts, all in an extra large, each of which were, I think, five or six dollars. Not terribly expensive, but again, the fact that it's brand new, never worn before, and sharp looking they are in style right these are brand new on the shelf modern trend or at least up to date so with that being said let's close out this video i really hope you enjoyed that first impressions both athletic works sneakers fit fairly well i would say the 1398 pair fit just a little bit less comfortable than the 1998 pair for 1998 though you do get what you pay for they looked like Nike Roshi Run shoes, which are an extremely popular pair of sneaker tennis shoes that revolutionized the whole rubber sole mesh upper uh, singular uh, upper half with the tongue integrated into the upper half of the shoe. That shoe was extremely popular five or six years ago and sold for well over $100 for some pair. But Great looking shoes, like I said, brand new. And because they're brand new, they are in style and should be in style the year, next year and the year after. With that being said, we're gonna review and do a first impressions of these George t-shirts next week and also give them away. But for now, thanks again so much for tuning in. Because I picked these items up at Walmart, that does make them a big box good. My name is John, hit that like button, subscribe, hit the bell icon to get notified when I post to YouTube and share this video with friends and family. I will see you in the next video.